the Ludlow Maiden Hurdle will be my final commentary of the week. Gray's going to take you through the Hunters. Uh, it's a three and a quarter mile Maiden Hurdle. You don't get many three and a quarter mile Maiden Hurdles in the season. And Arctic Watch at the top for Alex Cherry. Matador for Martin Little. Mind Solution, David Robson. Flowers for Fischl for Padre Hogan. And Sand Hill Grass for Derek Hinton. I'm guessing there's one or two chases gone in this with the distance. You don't get many three mile two furlong hurdlers in a way. And racing the top. Hurdle races are usually over, for this sort of distance, they're usually over three miles or maybe three mile one. Can't think of a really big one that's over three mile two. They get over the first. But you never know. Maybe somebody's got a hurdle that can stay three two. As they get over the second. All over it okay. The leader is Mind Solution for David Robertson as they get into the third. Then Sandhill Grouse on the outside for Derek Hinton in the green and yellow quarters. The yellow and black is Padre Hogan's Flowers for Fischl as they come up past the stand. The grey on the inside is Matador for me and that is potentially our Grand National horse or a long distance chaser anyway. Where he's fallen on the last two races so he's having a confidence booster over hurdles. He might have to get reinvented as a three mile hurdler if he wins this easily. Well, somehow I don't think he will. I expect him to trail around in about fourth or fifth. They get over the fourth. And Arctic watches the back marker for Alex Cherry. Mind Solution in front, then Matador second. Then Sandhill grabs his third. You're wondering how Matador's managed to get into this with him being a four miler usually. There's no distance regulations other than maidens and group races as they get over the next. I think we could probably do away with them in the handicaps to be honest. Everybody we've got playing these days is a pretty honest sort of player and I don't think anybody would deliberately run their horse over the wrong distance for three weeks just to get an easy mark in a in another race and the handicapper uses common sense he can soon tell anyway and react accordingly but it's Matador in the lead on the outside from Mind Solution second and apparently all these rules actually put in place years ago because there were one or two people who were a little bit shady apparently well, I don't know I wasn't around then I get called Barney Curly often enough for the way I place mine, so goodness knows what some of these other people must have been doing. But anyway, Matador and Mind Solution are disputing the lead. Flowers for Fischl is third, in Sandhill Grass fourth, and Arctic Watch back in fifth. As they head towards the next. Matted all leading by a good four lengths. Two flowers for Fischl second. And then Sandhill Grass as they get over the eighth. All over that one nicely. No great change in the order. As they take number nine. Matted all. Half a length up on flowers for Fischl. Over the next they go, that was the tenth. Sandhill Grass is third, Monsolution is fourth, and the back marker is Arctic Watch as they come up past the winning post then with one more circuit of the Ludlow track to go. I'm not sure we're back at Ludlow again this season or not. And it's Matador who's got the lead. That's official second. One solution third, and then Sandhill Grass fourth. Arctic Watch just a few lengths of drift back in fifth as they take the next. Which they all skip over nicely. Matador continuing to lead. Been joined there now by Mind Solution and Sandhill Grass. Flyers official. Arctic watches after that one.
as they head into the final mile. And Matador jumped up alongside Mind Solution again there. Those two sharing the lead first. Official and Sandy on grass sharing third. Oh, they're about to merge into a block of four. I think Arctic Watch is some eight lengths adrift. And he's quite possibly nailed on for fifth at this point. As they get over number 13. Mind Solution and Sandhill Grass. That's official next in Matador. They're starting to outpace Matador now. The horse is used to racing over further. And he's starting to drop away. And maybe he's the one out on for fifth. As Flowers Official takes it up. Well, Mind Solution second. These two are pulling away from the rest of them. Sandhill Grass is next. Matador appears to be rallying just a little bit. Arctic Watch is getting a bit closer. But I think it's. Well, I was going to say it's between the first two, but suddenly Sandhill Grouse has started to show a bit of interest in chasing them as well now. And they're getting pretty strong out. And I think my money will be on the leader to stay there at the moment because it's Flowers Official who's four or five clear. Mind Solution doesn't appear to be making any impression at all. Neither does Sandhill Grouse or Arctic Watch. Matador has dropped right out the back. And this is more like a procession than a race as they get over the 15th. There's two more flights of hurdles to take. And unless Flowers official falls or goes the wrong way, he's going to win this. And it's well clear. Mind Solution is well clear in a second as well. And I think I've seen a race that's strung out like this for a long time. And Flowers official is going to take it really, really easily. And Flowers official, the winner, no longer a maiden. Second, Mind Solution. Third, Sandhill Grass. Fourth, Art Watch. And fifth and last was Matador, who at least got round with his jockey on his back this week. So, Flowers official takes it for Padre Gogan. Comfortable, easy winner. Second was Mind Solution for David Robertson. A long way back in third. Derek Hinton's horse. Sandhill Grass. Arctic Watch Rally Shea was fourth and Matador was fifth. I'll see you next week and Gray will take you through the Hunter Chases.